Hi, it's Ryan Moody here, helping you to fish smarter, not harder. In this week's blog post, it's not much of a fishing tip, it's more about uh, trailer maintenance, and I'm going to show you how to make this special little tool to help changing the uh, bearings on your boat trailer so much easier. Now for those of you that have done this before, you'll know that uh, the hardest part is getting the sleeves, or the races as they're known, back into the inside of the hub. So that's the hard part, and this little tool I'm going to show you how to make, makes that so much easier. Okay, first things first, always pays to have a bearing kit handy, uh, spare in your uh, glove box, or your um, toolbox of course, in your car. Um, now, what you'll have in there is uh, both front and rear bearings, you'll also have both sleeves for those, and you must replace the sleeves every time you replace the bearings. Don't just stick new bearings into the old sleeves, make sure you replace them as well. Um, and of course if they're marinized uh, bearing kit you'll have the seals for the rear as well so you don't get uh, water in there at the boat ramp. Uh, the cap as well that goes on the outside um, stops any water from getting in on the outside keep that fairly packed with grease as well inside there but you can also buy um, the self priming ones with the grease nipple on the end they're 35 or 40 bucks each or something but people pinch them off your trailer at the ramp so I don't really bother with it anymore <laughs> it gets a bit expensive after a while so you can stick with the standard caps if you like so that's our kit um, I'm pretty lucky I don't have to pull the old bearings out bash the old sleeves out from the rear and put new ones in and all that I'm throwing those away and I'm replacing mine with uh, two brand new hubs um, so uh, all I've got to do is basically insert the bearings and uh, so I don't have to worry about punching those out. So forget that, we'll pull that off later and throw it away uh, for now. Next up I'm going to show you how to put these bearings in, but most importantly I'm also going to show you how to make this handy little tool we've been talking about. Okay, what I'm going to do first, just get a tiny little bit of grease and smear it around the inside rim. Not much, just enough to get it greasy. That's about it. Okay, first off the insert. Remember, you've got that rim in there and it's the thick end that has to butt against it. Don't put the thin end in first, it must be the thick end in first. Okay, just tap it around the edges, just gently. Get a start. What I do is a block of timber, just give it a good old whack. Diagonally, keep changing the angle. Now we're almost down to the edge there now, so we can keep going until we go as far as the lip, but then we've still got another 10 millimeters to go before the bottom of the sleeve will bottom out on that lip inside. That's the hard bit. Now this is where these little tools come in handy. Okay, I've got that down nice and flush there at the moment, but I've still got another 10 millimetres to go. So, what we do next is grab one of these little tools I've made. It's pretty easy to make, it's not so much a tool. What it is, is simply an old insert exactly the same as this. It's got the thick side and then the thin side. It's got the taper on it, as usual, uh, like all bearings have. Now, what happens is uh, you, you have to shave this down. This has to be shaved down. Oh, probably one fifteenth of a millimetre, uh, if that, and uh, pretty much just so that it'll fit inside the actual uh, centre of the hub without being having to be forced out. You can actually pull it out with your fingers. So that's how you need to shave it off. Just use a grinder um, of some description, and uh, of course be safe when you're using power tools as well when doing this. If you're not capable of doing this, then simply um, go and see one of your mates who might be a handyman and just get him to shave it down a little bit for you. So what we do is, the thin side against the thin side, hold it in place and give it a belt from side to side. Don't keep hitting it in the same place, keep hitting it in thirds. See, that comes out, and your other one is now bottomed out lovely against that lip in there, and now we're ready to insert the bearing. But before we insert the bearing, the main point of this exercise was to show you not just to make this tool, but the reason behind it. 
When that sleeve was up flush here, the only other way most people could get it down would be to simply try and hit it with a punch of some sort. But what that's going to do, you're going to slide off that little lip all the time and you're going to gouge. You're going to gouge the edges, the nice shiny edges of the sleeve that the, bowl, the, the roller rolls on. So any little gouges in there, uh, what's going to happen is it's going to destroy your bearings in no time at all. Before you know it, uh, they're going to collapse on you on the highway again. So that's why it's very important not to chip anything or scratch inside that uh, sleeve. And that's why simply putting that on top and belting it in, all the weight comes on the outside of the sleeve right around the entire thing. So you haven't got to worry about scouring up your sleeves. Now while I showed you this little tip, mostly uh, to show you how to make these little um, gadgets, uh, also another thing too that pe where people go wrong with the amount of grease. We just smear a fair bit of grease in behind it there, use the appropriate bearing grease for marine use. Just smear a fair bit of grease in there, push it to the back there a bit. But what you also got to do is in the roller, itself in the bearing all those roller pins smear the grease down in amongst them and work them into the bearing so very important that you do that as well don't just plonk the bearing a dry bearing in there um, because it's going to take a little while for the grease to run right through it once you put it all back together and that's where you can do a little bit of damage early on in the piece so massage the grease right through all the rollers do it with both your bearings of course before you slot them in there. Okay, nicely massaged in, so it's gone right through all the rollers. And now we're going to slot him in and sit him inside that insert. There we go, nice and square. Then simply put on our marine seals on the back, tap that in. That goes on the end of your, um, your axle and make sure that that squeezes in to the back of that. So that there has to squeeze in, make sure that's sealed right in there nicely. When it's on the back of your uh, hub, just give it a nice smear of grease in there too. Waterproof grease is the best for that. And of course, you do the front bearing on the other side as well, um, same way, and uh, except you haven't got those seals there on the back. So these are quite easy to make, as you saw. Simply uh, grind them down a little tiny bit, and um, yeah, just keep them out of the next set of bearings that you replace. Uh, the handy little tool, so all you need is those really, a hammer, a block of timber, your grease and a pair of pliers and you can change your bearings almost anywhere. So uh, un unfortunately when you're out by the side of the road you don't have uh, access to bearing pullers and all that kind of stuff. So this is the next best thing really when you're out in the bush. So if you like this little tip and you'd like to see more, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and if you like some tips that I only send out by email only, head on over to www.ryanmoodyfishing.com and sign up for free email updates. Keep fishing smarter, get in the great outdoors, and I'll see you next time.